After 36 holes of the Women's Oats Vic Open, Minji Lee was bogey-free. However, that run wouldn't last. Oh, it just slides by the low sides. Australia's number one female dropped two strokes in four holes to see her lead dwindle, while her playing partner, local Mariana Scarpnord, made her presence felt. Some clinical work off the tee. And that, Ali Whitaker, is what we call local knowledge. Over at the par 4 8, up and coming Chinese star Ziyu Lin registered her claim for putt of the day. What a putt! Scarf Nord's fine form on approach to the greens continued in the front half of her round, but the same couldn't be said when she took hold of the short stick, recording four straight bogeys. Battling the high winds was no easy task, yet still Lee's class shone through with a great approach to the ninth green. Come on, get up, that's a pretty good result. And suddenly there was an Aussie run on at the top. Hannah Green stayed out of trouble to card 71 before another star of the future had tongues wagging. Having turned pro only six weeks ago, 18-year-old Karis Davidson displayed composure beyond her years, moving to outright second with a round of six under par. Tomorrow she'll play alongside Minji Lee, who did just enough to retain the lead. Yeah, I mean, the wind was blowing, I think, a little bit differently today, so a little bit tougher conditions, and obviously the wind was really strong, so, yeah, no, it was a ground out, grind out there. So Minji Lee leads by one stroke after round three of the Women's Oats Vic Open ahead of young gun Karis Davidson. Hannah Green is in a tie for third with Marianne Skarpnord, while past champ Georgia Hall is at two under alongside Penilla Lindbergh and Cheyenne Woods. While men's overnight leader Anthony Quayle prepared for his third round, it became evident a move was afoot to usurp him. Hobart Simon Hawks began at two under, but when he strung together six consecutive birdies, a red alert went out across 13th Beach. Beating par again at 15 and 16, the 28-year-old raced the lead and equaled the course record of 64. Immediately, that pressure took hold. You get drama on this first hole for our leader. Quayle forced to take a drop as he double bogeyed the first, while playing partner Peter Wilson also had a rough start. Conditions made life tough for the afternoon groups, but Harrison Endicott was having none of it. A round of two under keeping him at the pointy end, as Queenslander Quayle made his bid to stay there, showing he's up for the fight on Sunday. It's been an up and down day so far. David Michaluzzi landed an important blow late in the round in his quest to be crowned top amateur. Meanwhile, it was a battle between two for shot of the day honours, both coming on the final hole. Four shot on 18, what a way to finish. Kiwi Nick Voak with some brilliance from the bunker, before Nick Flanagan also produced the goods. Pitching from the side of the green on 18, wow, wow, Nick Flanagan. As for the race to the top of the leaderboard, the emergence of a new contender in 42-year-old veteran Stephen Jeffress. Back-to-back -back birdies to close his day moved him to outright second. One shot back from surprise clubhouse leader Simon Hawks. I kind of felt waking up this morning that I, I kind of got a bit lucky with the draw and, you know, being a few back that I kind of had to go and make a move this morning. And, yeah, I just, it, it just happened today. It was just really good. Yeah. With one round remaining in the men's championship at 13th Beach, it's Tasmanian Simon Hawks at 10 under par with Stephen Jeffress right on his tail. Corey Crawford and Harrison Endicott are a further shot back, while it's a four-way tie for fifth between Nick Flanagan, Ashley Hall, Kieran Muir and Anthony Quayle.